Hello guys, my name is Piers Katz and today I want to talk about the Nugget package called Error Or by Amichai Martinband. Amichai is a great developer and a great content creator. I'll have a link in the description to his uh, YouTube channel and uh, the GitHub page of the Nugget package. That library implements the result pattern. I have spoken uh, in this channel about the result pattern again. Basically, I don't like uh, throwing a lot of exceptions and then have uh, my exception middleware handle all of them. I prefer to be more explicit and aside performance because if you throw a lot of exceptions you might have uh, performance issues. I like it better when I look uh, into a method and knowing that something can go wrong so I can uh, deal with that in there. I'm not saying that uh, you should uh, do the same. Even I don't do it all uh, of the time. For example, if I have a validation middleware, I prefer to throw an exception and have my exception middleware dealing with validation exceptions instead of having all of my handlers return a result that uh, it can also be a validation result among all other things. So weigh the pros and the cons uh, in your application and use it when you think it fits. So let's see what uh, we have uh, in that example. I have a simple API. In my entities I have a customer with an ID, a name and a wishlist. The wishlist instead of items holds just strings for simplicity reasons. We have our constructor in which we, in, we create our customer with the ID and the name and, we, and then we have an avoid add to wishlist method to add an item to the wishlist. In here we have that very important business rule that we can have more than two items in our wishlist. So if we have two and we try to add a third one, we will throw a new invalid operation exception with the message wishlist is full. If we don't have two, we will add that item to our wishlist. Then in my repositories, I have a customer repository with two methods, uh, one uh, that uh, gets uh, the one that retains an adable customer and tries to get that customer uh, from its ID and one for adding a new customer. In my services I have a customer service uh, that um, in which we inject our repository, we have an add the customer async method which gets a name, creates a new customer and then add it to our repository then one uh, for getting the customer by ID. So in here we call the get by ID async method of the repository. And if the customer is null, we throw a new invalid operation exception with the message customer not found. Probably you would have uh, that customer to be nullable and then in the API we'll check if it's null. A return not found and not throwing an exception in here, but I did it for um, example purposes. And finally, we have a method for adding a product to wishlist. So we get the customer from the repository. For simplicity reasons, we assume that that customer is never null and we call the add to wishlist method and we pass that uh, product. In my program.cs, I have uh, three endpoints for this functionality I described. One for getting a customer, one for creating a customer and one for adding a product to a customer's wishlist. Let me new line this and uh, my requests uh, only have to request to create a customer request with a name and then add product to wishlist request with the product. So let's uh, run it uh, for a little bit. I will open Postman and I will try to create a new customer with the name Spiros and we create that. Let's copy the ID. Let's paste it to our get call. And we get back uh, Spiros. If I change that 9 to 8, we get an exception uh, with the message customer not found. In here, probably you could have um, a an, an not found because you would have um, an exception middleware and uh, you would catch that. Uh, exception and map it to a not found uh, result but I didn't do that uh, for simplicity purpose again so let me do that 9 again and go back to try to add an item to my wishlist and as you can see the product that I want is a new car send send now I want two new cars 
so we have them in there and if I try to add the third one, oops, uh, wishlist is full so now what we are going uh, to do is uh, to add the error nugget package and not throwing exceptions so I'll go we'll, to my to my nugget packages, I will search for error or and I, I have already installed it, so let's go and use it first let's go to our customer service and we will change that git by id async method and instead of a customer it will return error or customer so we will say uh, error or customer and that's not what I want nope error or nope error or customer that's it so i will change the signature of the interface as well okay so now instead of throwing an exception we want to return an error and um, the error library has some very useful built-in errors so all i need to say is error dot and as you can see it has already a not found error, a conflict, a custom, a failure, an unauthorized and unexpected and a validation error so in that case the not found is what we need so I will say not found and as you can see in the constructor we can um, have a code and a description the default code is general dot dot found and description and not found error has occurred that's fine for us because we we want to do something with the code or the description so I'll say error.notfound and I will return that so return not found and now back to my endpoint that's not a customer anymore that's a result and as you can see it's an error or customer so instead of uh, returning results dot ok I want um, to see what that result is and based on what it is return something else so I'll say result.match and uh, now if it is a customer so customer I want to return results dot ok and uh, pass that customer and if it's an error I wanna return results dot not found and uh, since I don't uh, use the error I can discard that okay and now we are more explicit about uh, what uh, can happen in that uh, endpoint but before uh, we run it again let's go back to our customer service and let's uh, see what we can do about the add to wishlist method so let's go to the method in the entity and as you can see that's a void so we can't uh, so we don't have a return type we have uh, just uh, a void method and for that purposes uh, the library has already some uh, building features we can use we can say error or and uh, in here we can say success so it's uh, very nice it's error or success since it's a void method so I like that and now instead um, of throwing in valid operation we need to return uh, an error now the validation error should probably work but uh, with this library we can have our custom errors and I want and I want to show you that so we'll create a custom error let's create a new class first of all so I will say public static class and I will call it custom error types so custom error types and in here we will have um, our error types so let's say public const uh, int wishlist error and let's give it a number we'll say 12 and uh, now in here let's copy the message so we don't have to write that again 
I will say return error.custom and now as you can see we should we need to pass the type so we will say custom error types dot wishlist error the code for the code let's say I don't know wishlist full wishlist full and for the description wishlist is full okay and finally if we add the item to the wishlist we will return result dot success okay but before we continue let me show you something other you can do with uh, your uh, custom errors in case you want to reuse an error you don't have uh, to write all that again I will create another class I will call that um, customer errors so customer errors and then here we could have all uh, the errors that are related to our customer entity and uh, I will have a public uh, static error method I will call that uh, wishlist full since that's the error that we have and that will return that error in here so we can reuse it and now I will just say in here customer errors dot wishlist full so finally back in our customer service uh, we want that to be a task of error or success and let's change that to the interface as well and now we want to return the result of that add to wishlist method so return customer dot add to wishlist and back to our endpoint instead of returning results that okay we will check the result of the call to the service and uh, let's copy that and change it a bit so on success we're going to return ok and on error now we will use the error so let's say error results dot bad request and let's pass the error description and as you can see uh, we have a list of errors because uh, we can have multiple errors so in our case all we need to say is uh, error dot first dot description and let's rename that to errors to be more accurate okay and now when we look at the code to our endpoint we know that um, that uh, could uh, that uh, when we call that method something can go wrong and uh, we can see what uh, we actually do when something goes wrong and when the call was successful so let me run that again and let's open postman let's do the exact same things just see that everything works as expected i will create a customer i did create one now if we try to get uh, the customer with the previous id we should get back and not found and we got a not found with the new ID we should get back uh, the new customer, we did and now let's try to add the products to our wishlist to that new customer ok, added one, added two and now we should get back a bad request with the appropriate message and we get bad request with the message wishlist is full and uh, we have the two items in our wishlist so everything has the same behavior and uh, that was it an introduction to that uh, nugget package i actually like it very much and i wanted to share that um, with you in case you feel uh, like me and you want uh, to use it so that's all i had for this video if you liked it please like and subscribe thanks for watching and have a nice one